Welcome back to the Cop TV, the voice of football's most famous Latin area player ratings in goal. Alison Becker, the best goalkeeper in the world. The beardless beauty, Brazilian ball stopper. <laughs> Bit of alliteration there, yeah, four Bs. Um, yeah, I mean, from where I was sitting, they looked fairly routine saves, but if you don't make them, you lose the game. It's pretty Michael Owen-ish, but you lose the game if you don't score or you don't concede, and Liverpool didn't concede tonight through Alisson. So I have to give him a... I always qualify goalkeepers getting an eight by getting a clean sheet. And if you've made a couple of world-class saves, you, you push into the nines and tens. But I've got 8.5 tonight for Alisson. Potentially top three players in the team tonight. Trent at right back, seven. Not too great, not too poor. Uh, Trent's level is, if you believe the stat merchants, like, you know, live score and ultimate fan, stuff like that. He's getting around a 7.2, 7.3 per game. And there were some really tidy moments from Trent, but overall, I think sometimes when you don't mention someone as, as much, it's probably a, a sign that they've actually had a decent game. They've gone under the radar. A 7 out of 10 for, for Trent. Uh, Virgil and uh, Ibo at the back, I'd give them both an 8. Um, again, they had some physical work to deal with. They both got yellow carded in the first half. I didn't think the referee had the best game tonight. I don't like to talk about, and I actually do think Champions League refs are better than Premier League refs. But they were very easy to get the yellow card out tonight. And to have both Konate and Van Dijk booked, that didn't make sense to me um, for what they actually were supposed to have done. But I give them both an eight because there were some crucial blocks. There were some big physical moments, so big up to them. Uh, the left back, Robertson, came off the Simicast around about 60 minutes. Um, standard. There was a couple of times when he got caught out on the overlap. But apart from that, a fairly solid performance from Andy Robertson tonight, who continues to be an absolute engine up and, up and down that left-hand side for Liverpool. In the midfield, out of the three... McAllister scored the first goal, which gets us on our way. Uh, I give him a 7.5 out of 10 tonight. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Obviously scored the goal, but at the same time, there was a couple of moments where he could have made the strike or he could have found a pass. Maybe I'm being a little bit harsh, let me know. Um, but he could have done a little bit more. Once again, though, even though he didn't score, the best player in midfield tonight is Ryan Kravenberch. And I actually think because he's playing so well, because McAllister's now scoring and playing well, the big question mark is now over Dominic Sobberslie. Me personally, I'm starting Curtis Jones in the in the 10 or the, the furthest forward eight uh, on Saturday at Crystal Palace. He came on tonight and did well. Um, but Dominic Sobberslie, I'm going to give him a six. There was a couple of really good moments from Dom, I'm not going to lie. But the longer the games that go on where he doesn't really have an involvement in the goal, he doesn't really have an assist, difficult to justify his position again let me know if I'm being too harsh um, an amazing player we're still yet to unlock that true potential so he gets a six uh, but yeah McAllister and Gravenberch I give Gravenberch a nine I just think the guy is just on fire now he's absolutely on fire right now and yes there's a couple of moments where he gives it away um, but Ryan Gravenberch is the best midfielder in Europe right now Without, I know it's a big statement. He's the best midfielder in Europe. And I think the stats back that up. You know, he's lost one game, which was a bit of a freak game, which we'll probably look back on and laugh about. He gets a really high rating tonight. And then Mo Salah, goal and assist, which gets you a nine. But performance-wise, it's probably a four from Mo Salah, if I'm honest. But we'll give him an eight. Again, he does what he does. He gets a goal. How many goals he scored in Liverpool's 250th European game tonight as well, by the way. Uh, Darwin Nunez five scored a, an offside goal I was right along the line as he went through even I could see it was offside Jesus man when is he going to be onside I love the boy but I don't know how much longer he's got at Liverpool to be honest so Darwin Nunes he gets a five uh, Luis Diaz puffed and puffed so brave in the tackle um, had a chance to score big chance to score didn't take it took the extra touch so 7.5 tonight and then Cody came on I actually think Cody could start the next game I think Jota will start the next game um, and Curtis could start the next game as well so all the subs did okay but not a lot to mention Jota had a couple of chances could put them away so Liverpool go six points up in the Champions League a win against Bologna at home and at AC Milan away next up it's Leipzig I believe 
in the Champions League and we go on from there. Let us know if you're coming to the game uh, on Saturday at Box Park Liverpool. We'll be there for the Palace game. But from outside, it's starting to get quite cold Anfield. We're in the winter now. Beautiful still, isn't it? 2-0 up. We'll take it. Good night. Get some sleep. Get home safe.